It's time for a double dose of chaos again here on MTG Unpat. We're cracking open two chaos mystery boxes for patrons and these are my vision for how a chaos mystery box should be. And to do the pack blessings today we have Liliana so hopefully she'll get us the crazy pulls. Let's introduce the patrons we have Emblazoned Aegis and Dylan Moore. Alright so we'll Move these aside and roll for Emblazoned Aegis. So we get a five. Okay, so you get this one, sir. And one through five for Dylan. Let's see. Get a five. Okay, so set the rest of this stuff aside. And Liliana is tucked over here. Okay, bring her back. Let's get stuck into it for Emblazoned Aegis. Thank you for being a patron, sir. And we're rocking the Goblin playmat today. Bit of a Goblin fan. If you have not seen my Goblin Hunt video, what are you doing? I'll pop a link up in the corner there. You can check it out. Okay, so the packs today. Modern Horizons, Arm and Cat, Corset 2020. We've got a couple of foils here. We'll check those out momentarily. Throne of Eldraine and two packs of Corset 2020. So this is how we do the pack blessings, people. Okay, so we'll leave that one till last. We'll get our bland vegetables out of the way first, I think. Okay, let's take a look at the foils. So this month, a bit of a little bonus here. We have the double-sided zombie tokens. So these are pretty cool. I think they're from the Eldritch Moon pre-release packs. And the foil Liliana today is very tasty indeed. This is the Liliana Dreadhorde General Mythic. Legendary Planeswalker Liliana, 6 loyalty for 6 mana. Whenever a creature you control dies, draw a card. Her plus 1, grade A 2 2 black zombie creature token, minus 4. Each player sacrifices 2 creatures and minus 9. Each opponent chooses a permanent they control of each permanent type and sacrifices the rest and some fantastic foiling here. Okay, so there we are, Emblazoned Aegis. Can tuck that back in there. Let's get cracking. Corset 2019. And the patrons will get the rares, mythics, foils and anything over a buck. Okay, we have a Lava Axe, Knight of the Tusk, Two-Headed Zombie, Elvish Rejuvenator. Gallant Cavalry, Skeleton Archer, Wall of Mist, Take Vengeance, Root Snare, Electrify, Uncommons, Rogues Gloves, Colossal Majesty, Satyr Enchanter, and Rare is one with the machine. Sorcery for four, draw cards equal to the highest command mana cost among artifacts you control. Got Tezzeret there, and a Foul Orchard, and a Dragon Token. Okay, second pack of Core 2019. What is the blandest magic pack you have ever consumed in your life? Leave a note in the comments. There's probably a good few of those, I'd imagine. We have Dwindle, Fire Elemental, Doomed Dissenter, Rocks Oracle, Bogget Brute Creature Goblin Warrior, Wall of Mist, Rabid Bite, Manalith, Abnormal Endurance, Ghost Form, and Uncommon's Druid of Horns, Draconic Disciple, Plague Mare, and a Mythic Apex of Power, Sorcery 410. It's all the top seven cards of your library. In two end of turn, you may cast non land cards that sell this way. This spell was cast from your hand. Add 10 mana of any one color. I don't think it's the craziest mythic, but I will take it anyway. A forest and a beast token. Okay, on to Armin Ket. Sooner or later we're gonna get a... Uh, what are those things called? Invocation, that's right. I don't know about this pack, but we shall see. We have Cancel Thresher Lizard. Haze of Pollen. Festering Mummy. Delightful. Honed Kopesh. Bitterblade Warrior. Neff Crop Entangler. Cartouche of Ambition, Shimmer Scale Drake, Uncommon's Nest of Scarabs, Seraph of the Suns, Grave Digger, and the rare is Channeler Initiate, Creature Human Druid 3 4 for 2. When it enters battlefield, put 3 minus 1 minus 1 cannons on target creature you control. You can tap, remove a minus 1 minus 1 
Counter from Chella Initiate and add one mana of any color to your mana pool. And a very nice foil island with an island and a heart piercer manticore token. So that's pretty funny. Was that the same? No, a different island. Okay. Next up we have Core 2020. Had to double check there. I thought we might have snuck in another Core 2019. But Core 2020 is much better because it's a larger number. We have Reduced to Ashes, Squad Captain, Frilled Sea Serpent, Soul Salvage, Mammoth Spider, Prismite, Pacifism, Befuddle, Centaur Corsa, Uncommons, Iron Root Warlord, Diviner's Lockbox, Vengeful War Chief, and the rare is brought back. Instant for two. Choose up to two target permanent cards in your graveyard that will put there from the battlefield this turn. Return them to the battlefield tapped. And a foil infuriate. The island and a golem token. Alright, Throne of El Drain up next. And yeah, okay. I keep switching back and forth. These are the US yeah, US printed packs. Not the Japanese ones, so they're in the conventional order. We have an Ardenvale Paladin, Misford River Turtle, Weaselback, Red Cat, Creature, Goblin Knight. Good to see the goblins. Curious Pair, Lost Legion, Eye Collector. For some reason my eyes feel itchy when I see that card. Scolding Cauldron, Brimstone Trebuchet, Crashing Drawbridge, Tall as a Beanstalk, Uncommons, Epic Danfall, Shepherd of the Flock, Mysterious Path Lighter, and the rare is Linden the Steadfast Queen, which I think that's pretty funny because that's what Dylan got the other day. Legendary Creature, Human Noble, 3-3 three, three for 3, with Vigilance, whenever a white creature you control attacks, you gain one life. Alright, and a Plains, and a Giant Token. Final pack here for Emblazoned Aegis. It's Modern Horizons. Okay, we have an illusion. Oh, a foil illusion token. Very cool. And what is this? Something of despair. Force of despair. You got a bit of a peak of the rare, but we will get to it momentarily. Snow covered swamp. That's, it feels like sandpaper. And a foil wing shards. This pack is loaded. Whoa. And the rare is Archmage's Charm. Instant for three, choose one. Counter target spell. Target player draws two cards. Gain control of target and online permanent with convert mana cost one or less. All right, Uncommons, Throws of Chaos, Lanawar Tribe, and Crypt Rats, yes! Commons, Ignis, Elemental, Rocks, Veteran, Nature's Chant, Trumpeting Herd, Unearth. Twin Silk Spider, Wall of 1000 Cuts, and Smoke Shroud. And don't forget, Goat Nap! Yes! We got the Goblin kidnapping the goats there. Okay, fantastic. So there we are, Emblazon Ages. I think you did pretty well this month. Stay tuned for the Patron Snap Packs coming up later in the month. Okay, and Dylan, let's dig in here for you, sir. Good luck. And Lilian will have to sneak back in to do the blessings momentarily. We have Modern Horizons, Eldritch Moon with the Liliana, Armaket, Foils, ooh, that's tasty, and a Corset 2020, Throne of Eldrain and War of the Spark. Let's do the pack blessings in the traditional manner. And how are we going to do this? Okay, like so. So we've got the double-sided token here, same as the other one, and we'll take a closer look at this Liliana. So this is Liliana Vess, Planeswalker, Liliana, 5 loyalty for 5 mana from M10. The plus 1 target player discards a card, minus 2, search your library for a card, then shuffle your library and put that card on top of it. Minus 8, put all Kitch cards and all graveyards onto the battlefield under your control. Craziness and love the foiling on this one. Okay, so let's dig into War of the Spark here. We've got the Liliana there. She's actually on a couple of the packs here this month. Okay, we have Pouncing Lynx, Stealth Mission, Honor the God Pharaoh, 
Toll of the Invasion, Cruel Stinger, Sarkans Catharsis, Bloom Hulk, Saheli Silverwing, Obnixus is Cruelty, Totally Lost, Uncommon Sunblade Angel, Rally of Wings, Aishiok Dream Render, that is pretty cool, I'll put that one in there for you as well, and the rare is Oath of Kaya, Legendary Enchantment for three, when it enters battlefield it deals three damage to any target and you gain three life, and whenever an opponent attacks Planeswalker you control with one or more creatures, Oath of Kaya deals two damage to that player and you gain two life. And a mountain and a zombie army token. Alright, Eldritch Moon up next. Bit of a theme for the month. So we've been opening a bunch of this. And there will be a special treat on Halloween confirmed. So looking forward to that. Not Eldritch Moon. Use your imagination. We have Spring Sage Ritual. Boon of Emrakul. Tattered Haunter. Certain Death Swift Spinner. Spectral Reserves, Turn Aside, Alchemist Greeting, Ironclad Slayer, Uncommons Unsubstantiate, Somberwald Stag, Vampire Cutthroat, and the rare is Elder Deep Fiend, Creature Eldrazi Octopus 5648, with Flash and Emerge 5 and 2 blue, so you may cast a spell by sucking creature and paying the Emerge, cost reduced by that creature's command mana cost. When you cast Elder Deep, Deep Fiend, tap up to 4 target permanents. I think we saw this bloke recently, so that's rather interesting. And a flip card here, Vilden Pack Outcast, flips around into Drone Pack Kindred. And yep, non-foil there, checklist, and Magic Jewels. Did you play that back in the day? What did you think? Okay, Armin Ket. Where are the invocations, Liliana? I'm expecting invocations up the wazoo here. We have Sparring Mummy, Naga Oracle, Scarab Feast, Pouncing Cheetah, Nefcrop Entangler, Oshra Cultivator, Shimmer Scale Drake, Blazing Volley, Painful Lesson, Emberhorn Minotaur, Uncommons, Time to Reflect, Sensor, Iron Crop Champion, and Rare is Hapatra, Vizier of Poisons, Legendary Creature, Human Cleric, 2 2 for 2. Whenever it deals combat damage to a player, you may put a minus one, minus one counter on target creature. And whenever you put one or more minus one, minus one counters on a creature, create a one, one green snake creature token with death touch. All right. And a full art swamp. That is pretty nice. I'll put that in as well. And a sacred cat. No invocations, alas. Corset 2020. Okay, we have Octo Prophet. Scorch Spitter, Steadfast Sentry, Audacious Thief, Plummet, Zephyr Charge, Leafkin Druid, Battalion Foot Soldier, Shock, Healer of the Glade, Eternal Isolation, First of the Uncommons, Bloodthirsty Aerialist, Season of Growth, and Rare is Drawn from Dreams, Sorcery for Four, Look at the top seven cards of your library, put two of them into your hand and the rest on the bottom of your library in a random order. And a Plains and a Wolf token. Okay, Throne of Eldraino up next. Oh, now we've got a Japanese pack. Okay, so way to throw me for a loop. Throne of Eldraine. We have a human token and an island. And the rare is Fires of Invention. Enchantment for four. You can cast spells only during your turn and you can cast no more than two spells each turn. You may cast spells with Converter Mana Cost less than or equal to the number of lands you control without paying their mana costs. Good deal. Uncommons, Clockwork Servant, Improbable Alliance, an Inquisitive Puppet! And the Commons, Trapped in the Tower, Tempting Witch! Unexplained Vision, Sporecap Spider, Weapon Rack, Embereth Paladin, Garenbrig Squire, Tome Raider, Fairy Guide Mother, and Eye Collector. Okay, again with the itchy eyes. Okay, final pack here, Modern Horizons. Let's dig into it. And we're going to slow roll this one. Like always, we have a Goblin Token. And Mox Tantalite. That is pretty cool. I'll put that in as well. Snow Clovered, Snow -clovered Plains. Yes, I can't speak. It's covered in snow, apparently. So, no foils this time, alas. Okay, commons escaping. 
Excavating Annuid, what is up with me today? I don't even know. Stream of Thought, Venomous Changeling, Orcish Hellraiser, Fountain of Icor, Nimble Mongoose, What High Witch, there she is, Goblin Shaman, been a while since we saw her, Chiller Pillar, Quakefoot Cyclops, and Trustworthy Scout. Okay, the uncommons here. We have a Goblin Matron Creature Goblin 1-1 one, one for 3, very nice. Carrion Feeder and Tempered Sliver and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button for more Magic the Gathering unboxings and be sure to tap the notification bell to be notified as soon as new videos are released. We get a Fallen Shinobi Creature Zombie Ninja 5-4 five, for 5. Has ninjutsu, ninjutsu 2 and a blue and a black. So that means you can return unblocked attack you control to hand. Put this card onto battle from, from your hand tapped and attacking. And whenever it does combat damage to a player, that player exiles the top two cards of the library. Until end of turn, you may play those cards without paying their mana costs. Alright, so there we are, Dylan. Thank you for being a patron. Thanks for watching and have a great day.